G'day, how you going? My name's Dirk, and I'm from the YouTube channel uh, called Sumo's Projects. Uh, if you want to have a look at that, just go up there and click up there. So imagine you're a person who makes cabinets for a living, or you're a person who wants to uh, do that at home as a renovation. Uh, this little jig is simple to use and uh, very time effective. So this here is the Armatool self-adjusting pocket hole jig that's certain to revolutionise the, uh, the world of pocket hole joinery. So what we have here when we first look, we have a shroud, a dust shroud, which you can attach uh, a shop vac to. And that's always great to have because uh, dust is something that we don't want to have in our workshops. So another feature here is the unique uh, Automax locking system. So basically once you have your stock in there and this is set up, you can lock down your uh, piece and it's, uh, there's no room of movement at all. We also have here our pocket hole uh, drill bit. Now this comes with a collar. What that allows us to do is make the adjustment uh, which is appropriate for the type of uh, material we're drilling into and the size of screws we're going to be using to uh, join our two bits of timber. So if we take a look underneath, uh, you'll see here we have a number two Robertson head um, driver that's appropriate for the screws that you use for this setup and it's tucked away underneath which uh, eliminates you losing any particular item that's uh, meant to go with the armor tool adjustable pocket hole jig. Here also we have uh, two holes for drilling the pocket holes. There's a knurled nut, a knurled screw, we can undo that and then take this part out, flip it over and what we see then, do it back up, uh, we can do our holes a little bit closer to one another. So that's another nice feature. With the armor tool jig, we find that we have a uh, scale here, which comes both in metric and imperial, um, and it actually helps uh, the user of this jig uh, nominate the size of uh, screw they're wanting to use, as well as being able to determine uh, the setting for the collar on the drill bit uh, by referencing here. The good thing is it tells you the thickness of the stock you're drilling into, as well as the st uh, thickness of the stock you're using to join it up with. Uh, one of the uh, key things I think sets this apart from a lot of the other pocket hole systems are the colour coated screws which you get with this. If we go back here, we see there's a lot of different colours and uh, once we've set up the jig to drill our holes, uh, it's then just a matter of referencing the colour we want to use uh, as to the screw we're going to use to do the joinery. Let's do a demonstration and show you just how easy it is to use. So if we have a look here at the uh, auto adjustment system. You can see when I take this backwards and forwards, it adjusts the height of this uh, part here. And um, what I'll do now, I'll put our bit of timber in and pull back here and we lock that down as such. Now, I've loosened off the collar on the drill. The next step is to actually locate the drill back into its little holster here and put the collar into this section here and then we grab our hex key and we tighten that up so we can now remove the drill bit and uh, put it into our drill so having this locked down we now put the drill bit into the two uh, holes here and commence drilling. With this particular size of wood, uh, as I've indicated earlier, um, it, it needs a particular size screw. So if we look here on the indicator, it's, uh, it's representing that we need a screw that's 
uh, of the yellowish color. So what we have, we have a combination of different types of screws. Uh, we have coarse screws and fine screws. Coarse screws will be great for this project because we're going into uh, soft wood. So I've got these two yellow screws. I'm going to now release the, imp uh, the bit and we'll load that into the impact driver. And take that out. We get our adjoining piece, put that on top of the uh, adjoining piece, line up our hole, and now we're going to put in the second screw because we've drilled two holes. And there you have it, a solid joint that's uh, bound to last for a long, long time. So that's been a demonstration of this armor tool, self-adjusting pocket hole jig. I've fallen in love with it. I, I sure, I'm sure you will as well. For any more information, go to the, uh, and click on the links below and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time.